Hi guys, uh, this is Keshav Malpani and welcome back to An Academy. We are going to be interviewing two toppers from CLAD 22 today to understand as to what should be the technique and what should be the preparation strategy going into the last month of your preparation because all of us understand that we are under a lot of stress pressure in the last month particularly and these are those people who made it to everybody's dream college which is NLS Bangalore and we are going to be discussing this with Sanjana Rao who got an All India Rank 7 in CLAD 22 and uh, Shridhar Singh who got an All India Rank uh, 58 in CLAD 22 and many congratulations to both of you first of all and uh, we are going to have a very fruitful discussion so we are obviously not going to extend it unnecessarily we are going to be asking very brief straight questions and very brief answers to them and uh, first of all I'll start with Sanjana so Sanjana uh, we understand that particularly the last month even if say you are a very good student in your uh, you could say any mock test that you are writing but what happens is the pressure mounts on you. The pressure is always there as in uh, in one of the mock tests you may not get uh, a good score. Then you feel that probably every good score that I've gotten so far was a fluke. So how did you like get through all of that in the last month particularly? Okay, the last month mostly is about consistency. There's nothing new that you need to add into your preparation. You just need to keep going at the same pace. So that what I did was I tried to like to distract myself from like the, the thoughts that the exam is getting closer, the exam is getting I spent a lot of my time like doing other activities. I went out a lot during the last month. In fact, like the day before CLAT, I didn't open my books. I would spend the whole day in an escape room with my friends. Okay. So it was like for me, it was just complete distraction. Uh, that's what worked for me. That's very important actually. If you're too much into it, then it kind of creates a lot yeah. of problems. Okay, my second question is to Shida here. Uh, so Shida, last month when I'm particularly dekhten, there are CLAD is a practice based exam mostly, right? You have to practice a lot. You just, just, it's not just 150 questions, there's like 120 minutes in which you have to do them. Mm -hmm. So, uh, last month, mein practice or revision is a very important uh, role. Hota hai. So, how did you deal with that part? Because sometimes that gets too much on you, it's very overwhelming. Right. Uh, so, my entire preparation has been very practice based because uh, the comprehension sections, especially, I learned how to deal with them only through like writing more. Uh, but the thing is that as the exam gets closer, I think a lot of people get into their heads. This is the time where you have to do like more mock as if that is somehow going to like yeah. help with their process. But the thing about practice is that it's only fruitful if you are also analyzing. And what a lot of people did, I know a lot of people who've done this, that they took mocks suppose every day or like every alternate day. Okay. But they didn't have time to analyze. Which, you know, it just makes the whole exercise futile. Agreed. Uh, so, practice only as much as, you know, it you shouldn't burn you out. Right? Practice that much and then analyze what's gone wrong. That's right. That's how. Correct. Uh, uh, so, this is the practice part of it. Now, there's a follow-up mm -hmm. question on this that uh, we have to revise a lot of current affairs for at least one year. And yes. it gets too much, particularly oh, last month, when it feels so much backlog and all of that. So, how did you work? with that uh, so as far as backlog is concerned I honestly felt like I had backlog since the day I started like you know preparing seriously because anyway if you're giving mocks they might not they don't have the same syllabus as say CLAT 22 ka right, actual paper right. they're going to ask do mm -hmm. mein pehle ka. Uh, so I was already like I don't know any of them <laughs> so I started doing classes your classes I did on YouTube on an academy um and uh, I used compendiums. Mm -hmm. You had a compendium. Mm -hmm. And Academy itself now, like, it has a pretty great. Uh, so, yeah, I used those. And you have to make notes, right? I came to your class, I made notes. And then, you know, weekly. Okay. So, guys, uh, for those who are watching this, Shridha was one of the constant features in our class. So, 5 p.m., 9.15 p.m., like, every time you will see Shridha. Every class. Every class. And uh, commenting here and there, and, you know, creating ruckus at times. But, yeah, she... <laughs> Finally uh, made it to NLS, which are, I am also really proud of both of them. So uh, Sanjana, uh, next question here is that the last hamara yahan par month hoga, usme we kind of you could say uh, tend to make certain schedule for us because what happens is ek mahine mein, there are a lot of things to be done, but uh, sometimes we don't know ki ek particular day mein kya hoga. On that particular day you don't know because I want to do a lot of things in that month, but I do not know how to plan my day. Because there are only limited number of things you can do in that particular day. So how did you, uh, I think, work that out? Because that, if you work that out, it, and gives a, it gives a structure to your preparation the last month and makes certain things quite easy for you. So how did you work that out? 
Okay, so uh, the last month was is mainly about consistency, like I said, right? So it's uh, basically for me last month, uh, my majority of my preparation was taking mocks. Okay. So in the last month, I did something like I took a mock every alternate day, and the day in between where I wasn't taking a mock, I was analyzing the right. mock of the. Day. So I used to spend my morning revising GK from the notes I had made using various compendiums mm-hmm. throughout the year. And uh, like I used to take a mock at the same time the CLAT paper was, like two to four right, hours. Right, right. So, uh, and then in the evening, I used to just relax, take a break. And, and um, the next day, like the mock analysis day, I used to do the same thing. I used to revise GK in the morning and then analyze the mock. In the okay. Uh, another important thing is that uh, when you do a lot of practice in the last month, I think that is the momentum you take with you in the exactly. exam as well, right? Yeah. So that quite uh, helps uh, us a lot in the preparation overall. So, uh, I just wanted to understand from both of you. First, I'll ask Shrida and then you. This is a common question. How many, approximately how many mock tests did you do before uh, going into CLAT? Oh, and uh, what about you, Sanjana? Yeah, I had a count, 102. Really? Yeah. Oh, you, you wanted to hit that three figure? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, that's uh, pretty cool. So, guys, uh, yeah, this is, as we all, all, always discuss, that this is a practice-based exam. So if you do not practice enough, you will not get hang of the questions and you will not get experience with that questions. So it's very important to get some experience. We think that critical reasoning is bad, legal reasoning is not coming. Whatever reason is, that's because we don't practice a lot and we do not have experience with a lot of different kinds of questions. So again, a common question. I'll start with you now. Uh, one subject that you felt is uh, going to be a differential which will make your journey difficult to analyze. GK. GK. And how did you cover that up? It was a monster at first. You don't know how to start yeah, it. Yeah. Also. So, <laughs> totally like, agree. And that happened like in the last month also when you're revising, you, when you don't know things in the last month, you get, start getting anxious because there's not much time also. So it just you just have to trust that everyone's in the same state as you. Okay. Same syllabus for everybody. And everyone is trying the same things. Everyone has the same sources. So it's just uh, how much effort you put. Yeah, that's true. And Shida, what about you? I think quants. Quants was bad. Because everyone is, you know, working through all the, everyone is doing English every month. Everyone is revising GK. Yeah. Most people are. Uh-huh. <laughs> but quants is, I think, the one subject that everyone overlooks. That's because true. Because they think, Ki, anyway, it's only 15 marks. Every half mark can make a difference. Definitely. So, like, if you don't practice quants at all, and then you head into that exam, you are setting yourself up for... Not yeah, NLS. Yeah, definitely. And also for you guys, for both of you, it was a COVID affected year again. Yeah. Like the other two batches also, the last mm-hmm. previous two batches. So that again, like, you know, adds to a lot as in you can cannot always meet people because there are certain yeah. restrictions yeah, yeah. here and there. So uh, do you not think that ta- that kind of takes a toll on a preparation in the sense that there's only one thing you have to do, there's no second thing you do. So did you uh, develop any hobbies or any habits during that which helps you go uh, into the exam, which, you know, not just into the exam, like, keep yourself sane during the preparation. Yeah. What were those hobbies? Yeah, I picked up a bunch of things. I started cooking and started embroidery. Oh, <laughs> oh, nice. That, that's pretty unique and cool. And yeah. did you do anything For extra? me, uh, the lockdown served as a boot. Okay. So I didn't have to uh, go to school or class okay, or anything yeah. like that. So it w- I could prepare on my own. And because you guys had your CLAT exam just a week after, or six days after your uh, actual 12th board, right? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so that actually, I think that is very helpful. Some times, I mean, we feel like some things that we take very negative, while they can help us a lot. So for every CLAT aspirant, wherever you feel that there are certain things going wrong, just try to take out the, take out the positive from it. No? We do this sometimes like, we won't be able to do the exam. Or then, for example, some of you may be scoring a 70 or a 75 in a mock test. Just try to understand when you start the preparation, where were you standing at that time, you've improved, right? So, one month or just give it your best, uh, you could say, a go. I mean, as much as you can do, definitely you should uh, go with it. So, uh, there have been some points in time, like a lot of people around you, with uh, you, it was never like that, yeah, NLS is my dream college, it was never like that, yeah, top 5 will be, top 7 will be, but it was never like that, it will never happen, it will never happen, it will never happen, it will never happen. So you were like very confident that like this is where, where I want to reach. Day one, I, starting day one, I was like, GNV will be done. 
बिकॉज यू आर फ्रॉम गुजरात या या करेक्ट सो कोविड में ऐसा हो रहा था कि मतलब वी हैड टू हैव अ वेरी गुड आई थिंक ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म टू काइंड ऑफ स्टडी बिकॉज जा तो सकते नहीं है एंड यू वर एज एज बी डिस्कस वेरी रेगुलर ऑन अकेडमी सो डिट डेट लाइक हेल्प यू अल ऑर्ड इन दिपरेशन इट डेट इट डेट बिकॉज वन यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग ऑल अ लोन द थिंग इज दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ यू प्रिपेयर इन वैक्यूम यू डोट नो वे सो इट हेल्प you know get perspective because an academy the students are like a community uh-huh. so you are one preparing together and two you get a feel of how everyone that's also true preparing. secondly it's it's just nice nice to you know having it especially since you know it was locked down and a lot of times uh, conversations with you or other people in were pretty much like the only uh-huh. you know outside family correct so yeah that definitely definitely so uh, another thing another very important thing here is aap mein ye kat jayega na itna sa part ha ye to kat jayega na i just had when she was speaking i had something in my mind and i completely lost it uh ha so acha so uh, okay other than that i just want to understand from both of your perspectives so not just for clat 23 aspirant for aspirants who are going to appear in some other exam maybe mm-hmm. say mhc et or slat and for clat 24 as well right. so what are those two ideals that you think that students have to stick to to, to be doing uh, well in the exam so uh, i will ask different questions like i will ask you you need to tell me two ideals that you should uh, that you should, you followed yourself and you feel ki de ye hona hi chahiye and your question would be that what are those two mistakes that student make that ideally should avoid to be able to do well first to you okay i am i think the most important is to remember that clat is a long run or any of these entrance exams it's a long run thing it's a marathon so like you can't push yourself on a day to day basis you can't expect yourself to work like efficiently every single day if you have like uh, there are weeks where i've taken like completely off and that's okay cuz you come back to it and you work on it True. so uh, that's what i think you need to for one um second ideal is don't like miss any section every section is important cuz every mark means a lot that's true. so like even a, like 0.25 means a different college in some mm-hmm. cases so no section is worth ignoring and like every section can be worked on and improved that's right and so what are those two mistakes that you feel i think the first mistake would be to wait until you learned all oh, the yeah. syllabus to mm. write yeah mm. because uh, it's a practice based exam only it's an application based exam there's nothing learning happening mm. over here it's just that you have to apply so just start practicing as you practice it's going to reflect in the final uh secondly a lot of people ignore mm just just don't just take my word for it too and i think it's a uh, eighth standard maths matlab it's yeah, something that you just need to brush up standard maths but like it's 10th standard maths all you need to do is just go back and revise that's hmm. all a uh, 10th maybe matlab you don't get everything as a 10th yeah, maybe start studying trigonometry and most of the other yeah because most of the concepts like even averages percentages ye to hum bachpan se hi karte aa rahe na even by fourth fifth standard also at times so yeah guys these are the time constraint you have to yeah definitely so dev uh, yeah she is very right in saying that uh, if you do not study maths it's going to create problems because maths kai baar logo ko aata bhi hai 8th standard ka but as she said time constraint is a major issue there you have to solve those 15 questions or three passages in less than 15 minutes or within those 15 minutes so that creates problem for a lot of people jahan par abhi logo ko lag raha hai ki hum ek passage kar pate hain do passage kar pate hain if you're able to attempt all three of them it gets slightly easier for you because clat again you need to understand the consortium is not expecting you to be an expert in english or in current affairs they only they are expecting you to be above average in all the five subjects accumulate marks in every subject and try to get to that 100 ka score which is like in nls uh, in, you get into nls with 100 or not every year huh. i mean this year i don't think 100 uh, was enough no this year uh, what I was think... the cut off for nls this year the last yeah. one it's going to it's going to it's going to fall no because there more seats now and oh we we absolutely don't know that okay. because because you know the domicile and all it keeps okay so, so let's let's take 100 or maybe plus 2 uh, yeah. 102 is tight 100 100 is a good uh-huh. mark yeah for nls and uh, all of us obviously like top 5 institutes uh, we are trying to aim here so 95 is what you can definitely aim to और ये नहीं होना चाहिए कि अभी हमारे मॉक टेस्ट में 60 आ रहे तो हम कहीं नहीं पहुंच पाएंगे ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं होता है मतलब यू कैन जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड द मिस्टेक्स यू बीन मेकिंग एज दीज पीपल आल्सो मेंशन इफ यू डू नॉट एनालाइज योर मॉक टेस्ट इफ यू डू नॉट लर्न फ्रॉम योर प्रॉब्लम्स यू आर नॉट इंप्रूविंग एट ऑल देर इज नो पॉइंट राइटिंग अ मॉक टेस्ट इफ यू फील की तो बहुत ही टीडियस एक्सरसाइज है कि एक बार उसको लिख लिया फिर उसको पढ़े भी 
right so uh, that is it about this session and uh, thank you so much uh, shida and sanjana and i hope it was, it was useful for all of you as well so you can if there are any further doubts you can definitely mention in the comment box as well we'll we'll be happy to take it from there and answer it for you guys so thank you so much guys